Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Junk Drawer Art with Miss Riley. I'm Miss Riley. I am uh, hanging out on my kitchen floor on um, this fantastic Thread It Thursday because we are going to be uh, weaving today um, and we're going to be weaving with grocery bags, like used grocery bags. And so those have touched all over the cart and all over my car and I didn't really want to put them on my kitchen table so I'm going to actually work on the floor today which is fine. I have my buddy Archie here with me and Jack. They're going to be I guess my my weaving helpers and we've talked about weaving before. Um, it's one of the oldest forms of human art that we found. Um, thousands and thousands of years old. Um, people first um, used weaving for most of human history as a way to create functional things to wear, to use, or to keep themselves warm. So um, a, a lot of weaving now, you know, we have machines and we have factories where we can make the things that we need. So a lot of people now use weaving as an art form. It's something beautiful. Um, what I want us to actually do today is take something that a lot of people throw out and use it, we're gonna reuse it. Um, you can recycle plastic bags, but it takes a lot of energy to do that. And so it actually is, I guess Jack doesn't, Jack doesn't wanna help. Um, it actually is smarter if you can reuse it. So I'm gonna show you if you don't have thread at home or you don't have yarn and you're thinking, I can't do any of these art, any of these weaving art activities, you can actually use plastic bags um, to create a woven bowl. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, first, what you need is a paper plate. So this is like an old holiday plate that I have. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. What I'm going to do is um, actually cut notches into it, not all the way into the center. I'm going to stop a little short um, because I want a bottom to my bowl. And these notches need to be an odd number. So what I'm actually going to do here is start cutting. I'm going to cut one. I'm going to stop short of the center. I don't want to go all the way. And then just cut a little wedge out because that's going to allow my bowl to hold up on itself. I know, Archie, you tired, bud? Two. Three. I'm trying to do five. Five is a good number. I need to pull it out. I've got four, and I'm gonna do my fifth one. Okay, bud, turn it off and you can play. So I'm gonna take my um, sides and see this all is it going to actually allow when I cut and take those notches, it allows some room for the bowl to be able to fold up on itself. If you um, didn't cut notches, if you just cut the lines, the little um, work lines, the bowl would have to lay on top of each other. It wouldn't work so well. So now that I have this, I need to get started with my um, plastic bag yarn that I'm going to make. Uh, so what I actually did was I took a regular garbage, like a not a garbage bag, like a shopping bag, and I laid it out as flat as I could out on the floor. And the first thing I did was I cut the bottom the very bottom, like a straight line, and just cut a strip of the bottom off so it's still laid out flat. And the next thing I'm going to do is come the same way, just right across, and cut the handles off. So what I have now are is kind of like a tube of a bag left. I'm going to fold it back flat the way I had it, just flat, and I'm actually going to cut it into strips um, the same way horizontally across the bag. And the strips are probably, they don't have to be perfect, they're probably about an inch or two wide. I wouldn't go skinnier than an inch. So literally what I'm making are like these plastic bag loops. And I have some already, I've cut them over here with Harris Teeter bag. So I'm actually not gonna cut the whole bag um, because what I actually did over here was, 
I've already cut my little strip. I use hair cedar bags. I want them, wanted them to be brown. So what I'm going to do is actually start by taking this bag and I'm going to tuck it in here in my loop to get a start. So Sorry guys, I had to go help John with something. So I have my, what I did was I took my um, loop here and I tucked it over one of these little slips of the paper plate to kind of secure it on there. So it's kind of looped around. And then I'm just gonna keep doing a um, weaving pattern like we did with our cup last time. So when you weave, it's over, under, over, under. You're joining these, um, well, they're not fabric, but you're joining these strips to this paper plate in a way that you will be able to see on both sides. It makes things stronger. Weaving is a strengthening um, type of sewing. So I'm going to, and I want to kind of fold it up at the same time to get that bowl shape. So I'm going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And I just keep going around and around, kind of like we did with the cup weavings. Now, once I get to a point where the bag runs out, um, you have a few things you can do. You can take a new strip and you can knot it and tie a knot and tie it on. I like to do this, it's a lot easier. I take the strip that's here that I've already have made. I run the end through it. We did this with our jellyfish. And then I pull the longer piece back through it to create a nice skinny knot together. And then I can just keep going. Over, under, over, under. And as you start pulling it up, kind of cupping it with your hand, to keep it going. <laughs> I'm weaving a bowl. I'm going to keep weaving. I'm going to show John a little bit about this and then I'll come back once I have more of it done. I just, uh, John and I have been over here weaving and just wanted to give you a little bit of an update kind of as to what it looks like about halfway through. Um, so we started kind of pushing the bowl up as we weave um, and it's building its way out. The bottom's still going to be empty uh, and we've gone through about, I don't know, like six, <laughs> about six or seven strips. Um, so I'm going to keep going and then I will come back to you guys once we have it kind of up here at the top, but it's looking really nice. I have to kind of show you, um, I pretty much have my bowl almost filled up to the top. Um, if you come a little short or they're kind of uneven, you can kind of stretch them out a little bit. The cool thing about this bowl is, so I've woven it over, under, over, and around and around while I kind of cupped it up. Uh, you And the nice thing about weaving is, it's beautiful on both sides. So I have my cool design here in the middle, and if you flip it over on the back, I also have it wrapped. You might have some loose pieces like this, like where you tie them together. And when I find those, I just tuck them um, down in to a, the, just the closest place that I can. There we go. Um, and so you can kind of experiment with these. Uh, when you get to the end, you can kind of tie it off in a few different ways. You can wrap it around one of the pieces, just like we did when we started. Or my favorite thing to do, which is a little firmer, is to just tuck it under like this, under one that's already woven. And you can even knot it off if you want to tie it off. But you can kind of, I see I used all the same, like the brown hair teeter bags. Um, you can kind of experiment with different ones. Like if you have the red target ones, they could do some really, like really cool um, designs throughout. Um, this is obviously not something you'd want to wash. Um, it's something that you could use to like keep toys in or um, organize. Maybe if you have like change, if you're collecting money, you could organize it in this. Um, it's just kind of a fun little weaving project to do if you are one of my students or one of my kids who are thinking, you know, we don't have yarn. We don't have a lot of fabric in our house. Um, you can just use something free that you get from the store to work a little bit of weaving and art into your life. So I really hope to see pictures of this from you guys. If you want to see pictures or videos, you can send them to me on Class Dojo. If you're an Oak Ridge student, student, you can send them to me on um, Facebook if you are my friend or on um, Instagram or Twitter. I am at CS Riley Peach and I will see you guys tomorrow for a very 
fun Friday sculpture activity that is going to be really quick and easy too, because I know this will take you a while. So it'll be a really super um, fun Friday. I'm actually starting a new famous artist Friday. So we're going to be learning about a sculptor. Um, have a beautiful day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.